I think it was probably the perfect bowling display to hold the West Indies to 159 and um, our spinners looked dangerous, we took wickets throughout and I thought our fielding um, really, the work we put in really really showed, I mean we were um, hunting in the ring, we were stopping singles, we took catches and that's what, that's what we're aiming to do. Um, so at the halfway stage we were, were obviously delighted, um, we just needed a top order to to play his way through and take responsibility. We, we didn't manage to do that and we had a sort of a, a Champions Trophy type final type wobble in the middle. Um, but we got over the line and that's the, the most important thing. Um, certainly I'd have, I've been hugely disappointed sat here 2-0 down um, after some of the cricket we've played. So to get over the line should, should give the change room a huge amount of confidence, huge amount of belief um, because we've not won two games in a row since July. So it's got to be our aim. I'd say on Friday we played 75% of the cricket and lost the game. Um, so t it would have been a huge setback losing today, having done some great things but not getting over the line. Um, it would have really been like slamming your head against a brick wall, really. So I think there will be um, a lot of belief gained and confidence gained from winning. Um, but we also have big areas of improvement to make. I mean, because at the end of the day, you play 50 over cricket to to win World Cups and you have to get used to playing in pressure scenarios and we've probably fallen short in the real pressure scenarios in the past year but you have to go through these moments to realise where you can get better and if this helps us win a World Cup in, in well, a year's time, these, exper these experiences in the middle order, um, then it will be worthwhile.